Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing this eye look inspired by a video I watched of Jacqueline Hills. Um, I cannot recreate it because I'm aging and um, or I can't fully recreate it because I'm aging. Um, she did some wonderful things with her eyeshadow and cut crease and gold and it was over the top. Um, just uh, absolutely amazing. So I wanted to create a, a similar version using her as an inspiration, but one that an aging eye could maybe do. Um, although I really wished I could have done the cut crease with the gold and all that sparkles. So anyways, if you are interested to see how I did this eye look using the Morphe 35W palette, stay tuned. Today we're going to use the Morphe 35W for our eye look, so let's get started. As you can tell, I have already prepped and primed my face. I added a um, vampy lip and um, a nice kind of peachy glow to the cheeks. So let's see what we can create to go with the lip and cheek, shall we? So I was watching um, a Jaclyn Hill video. And I really like some of the colors that she used, so I'm going to try to use those colors. And I'll actually put her link down below. Um, I, I'm not going to be able to recreate what she did. I'm nowhere near her um, expertise. But um, I did at least like the colors that she used. So while this is not a reproduction, you can kind of see um, what inspired me to create my own look using some of the colors that she did. Or maybe not but anyways let's get started all right so we're gonna start with a nice peachy not peachy a nice nude color to go all over the eyelid and as always I like to use that to build off of we're gonna take this nice warm orangish color here And while she does a cut crease, I am going to do not a cut crease. I'm going to pick back up an oldie but goodie, the Makeup Geek Manny Mua palette. Mua, M-U-A. And um, I'm going to take a finer brush and I'm going to take some of the Mars. I'm going to go back and grab a little bit more of this orange again. And with my handy dandy blending brush, Okay, so next I'm going to take a little flat brush here with some of this dark plum and maybe this lighter plum mixed together. And I think I'm just going to, now that I place that on, I think I'm just going to use the lighter plum, not the darker for right now. We can always darken it up with the um, darker plum, but let's try to get it a little brighter. And back in with my handy dandy. Blending brush. Using another flat brush, we're going to take some Laura Geller, and this is Baked Gelato Swirl. It's an illuminator, and it's in Gilded Honey. This was one of my many cyber 
Monday purchases. <laughs> I'm going to go back over with a little bit of purple to soften the gold line. And then we'll take the gold and go back over the purple. Okay, so at this point in Jacqueline's um, video, she gets ready to do a cut crease and um, really cleans this area up nice and um, but I have aging eyes and um, therefore I'm not going to do the cut crease with the gold like she did although I would love to be able to pull that off I can't so this is a softer version for an aging woman she did use um, a nice light whitish color and so we're going to go ahead and do that so we're going to take this really light color here. It's not one of my favorite flat brushes, but it'll do. Okay, so with the pencil brush, I'm going to take this orange. And we're going to go all along the lower lash line. Then we're going to take that plum, the light plum, and we're going to use that same brush. And we're going to go right over the top. I'm going to take my Tardius two-sided. I'm going to use the pencil side and tight line. And that is slightly different than what she did on hers. I think she used a gold maybe on the inside of the eye. I'm skipping that. I'm just going black. And then she did do a wing. I'm not going to do as dramatic of a wing, but we're going to go ahead and use a waterproof eyeliner for the top of my eyelashes. This one is Black Up Paris and it's got a little tiny wand, not a wand, a little brush and so I'm just going to sweep off some of that excess. never used this kind before so let's hope it doesn't start feathering in my old lady wrinkles. Okay I did a little baby wing. A little baby one. I'm going to take that gold from the Laura Geller. A little on my finger. <laughs> Got a little bit of sparkle on my lips. And my lips if you're wondering because I know you are, is the Savvy, and this is from Makeup Geek. Okay, so now I haven't wore false eyelashes in a while. I think it's time. So I've got the Ardell Glamour Multi-Pack. We're going to use those. I'm going to pop those on. Um, I'm not going to make you watch me struggle through those since I haven't done false eyelashes in a long time. I'm out of practice. But um, I'll be back in a second. Not really, I'll still be here. I'm just going to edit that piece out. Man, I missed my false eyelashes. I've given my eyelashes a break for about a month or so, just not putting any false ones on, letting them just be natural and grow. And that's been fun. But man, I have missed my eyelashes. 
Okay, so we are going to um, now put a coat of the Pure Fully Charged Mascara powered by Magnetic Technology. Wonder how that works since I don't have any magnets in my eyes. But, all seriousness, I usually wait to put on the mascara after I put on my false eyelashes because I want my real ones to blend with the false ones. Um, I find that when I do the mascara beforehand and then put the false ones on, there still seems to be a gap, and I don't like that. So, I'm backwards. I do my false eyelashes different than the rest of the world. And I will take the handy dandy eyeliner and touch up just, and I'm going to use a felt tip this time. Just to touch up right above the false eyelashes, and it does look like that spread just a little bit, but not bad. Okay, so now I'm going to go finish my hair and do a brief exit, so hold on one second and I'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed my spin-off on a Jacqueline Hill eye, and that is for us aging women. Um, I could not do all of the beautiful things she did with the gold and the cut crease, um, however I did kind of mimic it with some colors and um, used her as an inspiration. I mostly use the Morphe 35W palette to do this look um, and I hope you really enjoyed this. If you did enjoy it, please give this um, video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend and um, it's okay. I already know that I'm going to get comments below that says you don't do as good as Jacqueline Hill. I know that, but it was still fun to try anyways, and that's what I'm hoping that my videos inspire women to get out there and try. Um, you might not be an expert, I'm not, but I'm enjoying myself, and that's what it comes down to, is life is too short to not enjoy yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, make it a great one.